350 brand new pieces of realistic furniture thanks to the sponsors of today's video who are actually the creators of all the pieces of furniture. Be sure to check out the top of the description. There will be a link that will bring you to this entire map where you can get all these beautiful pieces of furniture. So if you guys ever wanted to decorate your house, your hut, your village, your dirt shack, today is the day. Download it. Links are in the description below. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're in a room, and there's a button. I think I should hit the button. Yay! Oh, welcome to your new neighborhood. Here you can find different modern houses, a park, and an empty construction plot. The inside of each house is empty. This is where you can place furniture and custom blocks to your desire and create whatever home you want. This is so cool. I can pick furniture and custom blocks inside the shop. I can get there by using the bedrock portals found around town. There are different models and texture options available for me to choose from. Enjoy your stay. This looks so cool. Look at that. Is that a billiards table? Whoa, okay, so we have a hammer tool to start out. This is all completely custom and amazing. I've never seen a hammer before in Minecraft. Let's try it out. Okay, I'm gonna use hammer. Use, whoa, what did I just do? I can use the hammer to pick up any furniture. What is that? Is that a fridge? Hello, Frank the fridge. I like you very much. Now I can use the wrench on Frank the fridge in order to move or rotate. Yo, that is so cool. All right, Frank, I rotated you. What do I do now? Do you have any cookies? No, oh, flip. Experiment with the paintbrush to cycle through multiple texture options until you find the one you like. Now there also are warp pads, but let's just have a look around to see all of the custom furniture. This will be perfect if you have just a very bland Minecraft world with a house or a village that you really want to decorate. Look at that, we have a flat screen TV. We have books of legit every single color. We even have a lamp. I love lamps. It looks like, whoa, you can actually sit on the couch too. I have never seen anything like this before, especially in the bedrock version of Minecraft. This also means that you can play on pretty much any device. I believe you should be able to play it on your computer, on your Xbox, and also on any mobile device that you have. So if you ever wanted to get a bathtub in your Minecraft world without having to build it from normal Minecraft blocks, today is the day. Download it below in the top of the description. Bessie always did say I was very dirty, so I should probably spend a couple hours in here at the very least. 346 minutes later. All right, there we go. Am I cleaner? Not really. Can I take a uh, no? Uh, oh my gosh, I can. <laughs> Wait, stop looking at me. I'm taking a poop. This is so cool. Wait a second. There's fully custom beds. Obviously, you guys have seen normal Minecraft beds. They're pretty flat. They have four legs. This also has not even legs. It looks like my bed in real life. Now, there are over 350 different pieces of furniture, and I honestly think that this was maybe 20 at the max. So let's go ahead out of here. Let's warp through. Whoa, that was so cool. Okay, so we are officially in the town. Unfortunately, it is nighttime. Over here, we have a warp to the store. We also could toggle creative mode. I might save that for another video. If you guys do want to see a part two where I can do a realistic house build challenge with all the different furniture, be sure to drop a like. It looks like over here, we also have a bike to get around town this is so cool there's not only realistic furniture but realistic vehicles it works super well too look at me go can i take it to the store i'm going to go i'm taking it to the store i don't care come on does it can i go to the store okay no i cannot bring the bike to the store unfortunately whoa here we go we made it to the store i'm so tempted to toggle creative mode but for this video i will keep it completely legit it doesn't seem like there's anybody manning the store but this reminds me so much of an ikea they even have a little mojang booth over here with with little tiny laptops. I love how they incorporated all the decorations into the shop so you can see exactly what you're going to be buying. We have our simple tools in here. We have the hammer, the wrench, and the paintbrush. Now let's see, if I right click on this, no, nah, okay, I cannot change it. What about this? Whoa, no, no, I wanna sit down. No, I, I, I really, I don't wanna sit. Can I hit you? Can I hit you? No, I don't wanna sleep in bed either. So I'm guessing these are all of the furniture on display, so I'm technically not able to remove it. There are also two other tools that I have not unlocked yet. We have the pipette, which we can use to clone a placed piece of furniture. And we can also use a nudge tool, which will push or pull furniture in any direction. Don't mind me. Yep, gonna grab the nudgy nudge tool and the 
the Pipit. Yep, that's how it, definitely what it's called. Let's go upstairs, Pipit. Oh my gosh, this reminds me so much of an Ikea. I don't know if you guys have ever been to any furniture store, but Ikea is one of my favorites. At the store, just like this one, they have so many model displays. Look at this. We have clocks on the wall. We have fully custom lights. We even have a desk lamp from Toy Story. Hello, lol, Fern. Are you real or fake? I can't tell. I've been hitting it for three hours and nothing has happened. I honestly would not be surprised if there were more than 350 pieces. I just keep looking around and I see something new in each and every little model. Do I need to purchase this or can I just take it? Let's try it out. Okay, so I cannot place it here. I need to place it around the village. The next area we have looks to be a bathroom. We have bathtub. We have little faucet. We also have a uh, 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 little cupboard with paper. A sink with a mirror. Luckily, the mirror isn't functional or else it would probably break from ugliness. We also have my personal favorite, a functioning toilet. Yes, it is beautiful. Okay, I might be stuck inside of the toilet. My foot is lodged in there. <sighs> okay, all right, don't worry, false alarm. Don't call the fire department. Next up, we have an entirely pink themed room. This is beautiful. Bessie would love it. Also, Adam would love it too. Adam's favorite color is pink. I love the bed. Look at it. It's so romantic. Romantic. It's actually in the shape of a heart. And it works too. I can lay down. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Jump on the bed. Let's go. No more monkeys jumping on my bed. I'm sorry for abusing you, bed. I will be on my way. The next one we have is a very rustic looking bedroom. We have everything gold plated. Look at that. We have a little dresser gold plated. The only thing that isn't, I think, is just the bed. There's even blinds. I didn't even realize that. And then we have the lamp coming out of the ceiling. There is legitimately an unlimited amount of possibilities you can do with all of this different furniture. They even have darts. I can't tell, but it seems like there are also custom blocks on the wall. So yeah, look at that. We have a red knit carpet, a night sky wallpaper. This looks like a little tiny studio. You have books on the left and right, or they could be movies. You even have a little Rubik's cube right there. I honestly love the glass table. I think this entire setup is better than anything I have in real life. It's a little bit sad, I know. I honestly might have to design my entire new apartment using every piece of furniture in this crazy map. Look at that. They even thought of a fire extinguisher. This is the pool billiards table that we saw in the tutorial. This is honestly cool. It's like a little man cave. You can play pool. You also have super cool lighting. And over here, you have more darts. I don't know exactly what this next one is, but I think it might be some sort of office lobby. We have a telephone right there. Hello? Bestie, I need cookies. I think this is a little fish tank. Look, guys, I found Nemo. Don't worry, Nemo. I will go tell Marlin that you're trapped here. Hello, little umbrella. Sadly, I cannot pick up the umbrella. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest one yet. Look at it. It's a gaming setup. You have the beautiful chair as the centerpiece. You have a little PC tower. You have your keyboard. You have your mouse. Obviously, Minecraft is playing, I think. For whatever reason, there's also two monitors up on the wall. That would be so cool if I had that in real life. Now, if you guys did want to also design a restaurant, this map has you covered. Look at that. We have giant wooden chairs and also tables. It looks beautiful, especially with the action flowers and the weird ferns. I will call you Finn. Finn the Fern says that if you guys haven't subscribed by now, by the way, you gotta do it. If you don't, Finn will turn into a cactus and probably try to bite me. Behind your outdoor seating to the restaurant, you also have a back kitchen. This is where I will hire all my chefs to cook just cookies. We will only have cookies and only sell cookies. This is where we will cook them. This is where we will wash our cookies. And this is where we will store the milk for our cookies. I will call it Jack's Cookie Cafe. Right here, we have an outdoor setting. We have another bedroom and living room. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, the possibilities are endless. I've gotten so many ideas, so I want to head back to the town. The only problem is, uh, uh where, where do I go? This is exactly what happened to me in Ikea when I was seven years old. I was walking around, I started looking at everything to see, and I got lost. Luckily, I was only in there for six hours, and they do have a cafeteria, so I ate Swedish meatballs. What? This is the coolest bathtub I've ever seen! Oh, baby, I could get used to this. It's official, Minecraft is better than real life. I honestly cannot get over how many different scenarios they have created. Look at this, we even have a beach umbrella and a grill. I can grill cookies outside. Now, I really just hope I'm going the right way. I think I am. Yes, okay, now we can head back. 
I honestly don't even know if I got through each and everything. But let's go get on my bike and travel around. I can spawn more bikes? Hold on. I want another one. Can I, I want a new bike. Do I have to get off this bike? Give me a new bike. Maybe I have to break this bike. All right, whatever. I don't know why I'm so hung up on the bike. Let's go see what's over here. Hold up, ladies and gentlemen. I found a car. What? I can ride the car around town. So I think over here is one of the construction plots where you could potentially build an entire house and then decorate it. If you guys do want me to invite Alec and Adam to this world, we'll each get our own plot and get 30 minutes to build the best, most well-decorated house you have ever seen. Oh, uh, hello, little fox. I don't want to run you over. That's right. Get out of the road, you little stinking fox. Now, let's see. We also do have houses scattered throughout the town, and they are completely empty. I did, however, steal some of the furniture from the store inside so let's see we have a table we have a mug i didn't mean to put the mug there so let's see hammer to remove things we can nudge it whoa let's see can i push it okay so i cannot push it through the wall now let's see what you can change the texture look at it it keeps changing colors that is so cool let's place one mug on the ground and let's see can i change the texture can i nudge it okay so i could definitely nudge it can i clone it whoa <laughs> Let's do it. It's cloning the mugs. I can rotate the mug. Oh my god. This is so weird, but amazing. Okay, mug. I cannot have you there. Somebody will trip and fall. Ladies and gentlemen, I highly recommend you check this out for yourself. This is easily one of the most customizable and well-made maps I have ever seen. And there is literally so much furniture to pick from that the possibilities are endless. I think I could potentially decorate for six million years and still not come up with every single combination. Look at it, we even have a modern house. We could have a decorating challenge. If you guys do want to check this out for yourselves, once again, the link at the top of the description will bring you to this beautiful world. Scram, little foxy. If you guys do want to see a part two where myself, Alec, and Adam will do a giant build-off challenge with all the pieces of furniture, let me know by dropping a comment down below and leaving a like. I think that it's going to wrap it up, though. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thanks again for the sponsor of today's video for helping out. My name is Beck Bro Jack, and I will hopefully see you guys all very soon for the next episode. Peace out, dudes.